Welcome to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is the first video for a friend of ours. What we will be learning in this series is everything that you will need to everything from the very basics of video game design um, to structure to programming all the way through creating the virtual reality game that I am working on this is just a little bit of a preview example um, some early stuff this was an early stage in the house I will show you uh, we will actually pick up here and start there I will show you how to texture this put in items like that and then make them clickable and interactive show you how to make a character like this and set up scripts and camera and whatnot to follow him and make this all realistic and such okay first things first for anyone online who is seeing this from the beginning this is a tutorial this is actually an advanced tutorial series for unity 3d we're also going to talk about blender which is a design software as well we're going to talk about filter forge which is another design software specifically for texturing and a few other programs along the way but uh, this is the main program we will be working with this is unity this is the video game engine itself this is how we build video games first things first you want to go online to unity 3d.com right here just click download and right there you go and wonderful for new users right now they have a 30-day trial for unity pro available which is normally fifteen hundred dollars US it's an amazing deal very lucky for new users okay once you have it downloaded you want to open up Unity and it'll open up this demo project. First thing you want to do is actually start a new project. Go in. We want a blank project, so we don't want to import any of these things. We want to just go ahead and create it as is. Now, I already have one created, so I'm just going to open it. Unity 3D is a very, very good um, video game developer software. Right now, it's actually about the third best in the world if you pay for Pro. Basic is very good as well. Um, everything that I will be teaching in this series will um, be available on Basic. Um, so nobody will have to actually pay for Unity to follow my tutorial series. Let me also remind everyone, all of my tutorial series are designed specifically for a certain person that I am educating at the time. Right now this is for <coughs> um, a friend of mine. So after th this, things get very personal. If you want to learn all of the specifics you go through all of my videos and you can uh, you learn everything along the way. First thing we want to talk about is interface. Now this is what we get when we have a we open up a new project. It looks pretty uh, looks pretty scary. Don't know what the heck is going on here. If you uh, first of all let's go ahead and uh, talk about the mouse. 
left click that's how you select right or uh, right click if you're using the left hand and mouse combination you can just click on items you can also just double click there if you want to focus on things you use the wheel if you have a three button mouse you can zoom in with your wheel also you can move the screen around just by clicking and holding the wheel right click will rotate the screen All right any which way you want it's very easy to move and over around anytime you get lost say you have your uh, thing way out here all you have to do is just double click on that item whichever item you want in your hierarchy here and it will select it and center it for you the hierarchy this shows you everything that you have in the scene this project menu over here this is your assets folder assets is everything that is is necessary to build the game I will uh, we'll be adding all of our own assets um, and I'll show everyone how to get to all of those um, but this is the inspector this is everything about everything when you click on an item say let's go ahead and add just uh, just to get something going let's go ahead and add a cube right now I've got a cube somewhere out there right let's go ahead and select our cube move it a little bit away from the camera actually let's move the camera out that way we can see our cube okay now you see the cube in your view, right? If we click play right now, it plays what game we have. Everything's very dark, nothing's happening, we can't do anything, we haven't said anything, we, we don't have any programming going on. Um, first thing we need to do is add a light. Okay? So, that's the next thing I'm going to do, create game objects and create a directional light. Directional light works like a sun. You can, uh, if you rotate it, it will change the direction of the light that it affects. It's very neat. Okay, now we're getting to learn a little bit about the inspector. With our light, we can actually change what kind of light it is, turn it into a spotlight, turn it into a point light, and I'll explain what all of those are later. But for now, just go ahead and leave it a directional light. That's always a good strong one. You can change the intensity, make it really, really bright. Don't worry about that right now. Just leave that at 0.5, that's fine. Cookies will say if you wanted to uh, display an image with your light like say you wanted to give off some kind of uh, some kind of effect you can actually add textures and the light will display that um, of course you can add shadows you can give it a halo and make it look like a real sun You want to leave your render on auto for now. Calling mask again. You want it to light up everything for now. Light mapping, auto, leave all of that good for now. Up here we see this is the transform. Transform, you know, actually affects the shape position or scale of the object. We can uh, set everything to zero and put it right in the middle of our scene for instance. 
and then say we want to rotate it 180 degrees very simple stuff and scaling a light doesn't do anything but say if we wanted to scale the cube we can make it as big as we want the neat thing about building something in a game engine like this doing something like a cube for instance now we are literally inside the cube we can actually set textures and whatnot inside this say for instance if we wanted to put a cloud texture on the inside what we've just created is a skybox however there are wonderful things in Unity. They actually uh, have a skybox option in the standard assets folder. If I would have, ins if we would import that, but we don't need that for now. So let's go ahead and just scale this back down to one and get started. Okay. Make sure my cube is in view. We have a little light. Okay. Now, first thing we want to do is add a plane. We'll put it at zero. Check our camera. this rotate move scale this actually is just a grabber um, this just moves the scene around we want to move our cube to the middle of our box check our camera and we see it there we're good okay let's go ahead and move our camera a little closer to our plane click play and see what we have Oh, render texture failed. Interesting. Ah, uh, wow. Mm, Unity is not liking the screen recorder right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right there. Go ahead and add the plane and the cube and the directional light and I'll pick up right from there.